Welcome to this Excel video. It's a video that's a little bit different to my normal ones. It is not going to be going through any Excel tricks, but what it's going to do is take you through how I manage the various uh, uh, pieces of information that I come across about Excel. So I consider myself someone who does about 25 to 30 hours a week in Excel, and um, I read a lot of blogs and I'm a part of a lot of forums. Mainly I'm a sponge on learning from other people but um, it's hard to keep track of everything. So what I've been doing in the last about year is using Evernote. Now Evernote, um, you may have come across it, it is a free program. Um, there is a paid version that allows different features but I've found the free program to be great. I have got Evernote on my PC. I use my PC about four days a week. I've got Evernote on my Mac. I use my Mac about one, one and a half days a week. And I've got Evernote on my two mobile devices. One of them is a Windows uh, Samsung uh, tablet. And the other one is my iPhone 4. So um, all of those different devices have got Evernote. And I have got all my files syncing between them uh, instantaneously. So if I'm sitting somewhere in a waiting room, I can pull out my tablet and, and check through some stuff. Um, but anyhow, you'll see on the screen here um, in the top left corner, there are a series of what's called notebooks. And each of those notebooks has got a series of, of, of notes or pages inside it. And I've got one of those notebooks called Excel Gold. And what that is is... Um, every time I come across something that's really, really good, I copy it and I paste it into a new note. So um, uh, I follow some geniuses such as Mr. Excel, um, Mike Gervin, uh, Excel is fun, Chandu.org. There's a, a bunch of fantastic blogs that I follow and I'm part of about five or six different LinkedIn, Excel or VBA user groups. And as a consequence, I, I actually struggle to keep up with reading all the new ideas that are coming out, but this helps me tremendously. So as you can see, um, it does a pretty good job. It's really just a direct replication. This is from Chandu.org, um, and the little link appears up the top. So if I click on that, it'll just take me straight there. So um, it's uh, it, it's really a great way to, to be able to keep um, the, the true relationship of the information to the original source. Um, so here we are, you can see if I scroll down there's a bunch of other gold items such as um, finding the last item in a list from an Excel is fun video. I've got the YouTube link if I wanted to watch the video but here is the key information where I've just copied some formulas and typed them in there. Um, I've got another file called Excel Teaching. I uh, teach classes about once a month uh, in my office. I've got about 100 people in my office so I get them together about once a month um, and um, show them some new Excel tricks um, and I've got another group of people that I work with who are analysts who I teach some different Excel stuff to. So every time I've got an idea about a class I might be sitting uh, in, in the waiting room somewhere and I've got an idea for a class so I just type it into my iPhone and uh, it appears in my Evernote library by the time I get home. Um, I've got a folder for VBA now I'm about a 3 out of 10 when it comes to VBA, I'm, I'm okay, I can do some programming and do some pretty cool things, but uh, I, I struggle to remember everything when I'm starting a new project, so I'm often looking up old projects, and it takes me a long time sometimes to find the piece of code that I wrote a year earlier, so now I'm starting to keep track of those much better. Um, here is all sorts of stuff, as you can see, uh, some of these things are quite simple if you're a, a coder. Here's some code to loop to delete rows starting from the bottom. So uh, a nice little code snippet that I can just find and copy. And um, you know, sometimes I've got whole pages copied from websites, other times it's just a bit of code. Um, and another thing that I've been doing in Evernote, which uh, is another great feature, um, when I'm doing some hockey, um, some sorry, uh, project development, um, I'm often attaching the file itself a copy of the file into my Evernote so that I know exactly where to find it. I've got so many files now that I can sometimes struggle to find stuff and if there was anything in particular about a project that is unique such as a piece of code or a way to solve a problem I make a note of that and that way um, again finding it is, is, is a much easier prospect. I've got a documents folder where whenever I start a new project um, I 
make sure I ask a bunch of questions. Um, what type of computers are going to be used on and all that kind of thing. How many users? Can we have macros in there? So I've got a little checklist which is called before doing work for others and then another checklist which is before I'm finished uh, and I'm sending it off to the person for some testing. I've done some of my own testing. Is it Mac compatible? Does it work on Excel 2003? Have I protected the sheets? Does it print properly? And so on. So I've got a little list there that I don't forget. Um, so, so anyhow, um, I've got a bunch of other folders which is some of my own personal stuff. I'm a uh, football analyst um, by hobby and I've got um, a bunch of uh, stuff here that I've found interesting. You know, some of these things are about visualization of data. Um, there's some fantastic people out there that are doing pretty cool graphs and, and there's other, other things which are just uh, general professional development. So, so um, anyhow, Evernote, if you haven't got it, it's free, get it, use it to help you uh, manage all your knowledge. If you're on the Excel learning curve, you'll find you're wasting a lot of time going onto um, YouTube, going into Google, trying to find something that you were searching for six months earlier and uh, you just can't find that same link or that same explanation that you saw previously. This is the way to solve it. Even though it works for me and it'll work for you too. So uh, thanks for listening. Next time I'll have an Excel trip for you, but uh, in the meantime, uh, happy hunting.